Hello everybody and welcome to First Ring Daily on Friday where I got a haircut and Paul's healthy as a horse. Mm, or just horse because I'm unhealthy. <laughs> Are horses mm. really that healthy? Do we know this? I, I don't know why that comes from. I think it's just because they're huge muscular animals. Oh yes, man, maybe. Yeah, I would imagine a horse with an upper respiratory infection would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but um, here we are. It's Friday. It's uh, <clears throat> yep. It's it's Friday. Actually, I woke up this morning and I asked my wife if my daughter could just stay home from school and bring me hot chocolate all day, and mm -hmm. I would just knock it out of bed because it's um, it's cold. Oh, over. It's raining. Um, I I got out of bed like an adult and took my kid to school and came home and cried about it. Yeah, we get up every morning at like six. It's pitch black outside. It's like being in Stockholm in the middle of the winter. And um, it's just, it's going to be like this for months. I know. I know. Why, why like aren't, how do, what kind of crimes can we commit to get rich but not get caught? This is, right. this is well, based on the uh, true crime shows we watch every day, there are no such crimes. Hmm. I wonder if that's just police propaganda. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'll just say this don't ever kill anybody, Brad, because <laughs> you will leave evidence. <laughs> always, always uh, soulful advice from the Throt family household. Don't kill if anyone. If you do kill someone, yeah, I, I'll probably help you bury the body. But, <clears throat> yeah, you're still probably going to go down. That's all. Um, at, at, moving on to less murderous topics. <laughs> uh, yeah. Google reported their earnings yesterday, which were pretty good. But um, I think your tweet, uh, it pains me to say this, got it pretty accurate. Uh, roughly 86% of the revenue comes from advertising. And that's yeah. mostly what you need to know about that. I look for this every time they announce it. I go to their earnings form. I go down and look for advertising. I look over the amount. I compare it to the total revenues. I do the math. 86%. So it's actually gone down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it used to be north of 90. Um, they do have other businesses that make money, like their enterprise software and so forth. Um, but obviously those are relatively small businesses for some reason my wife has to clean the room next to me right now um <clears throat> we i mentioned the uh documentary film crew that's coming to our mm -hmm. home apparently they're coming today as well oh <laughs> so they can uh, scout locations and, it's uh, unusual you, at, you've never had issues with dates and times and places to be well i knew i had something this afternoon i thought it was the hp thing but actually it was the uh yeah the, these guys anyway <clears throat> we need to clean the house so what the hell was I just saying? Yeah, the other thing about uh, Google uh, that I thought was semi-interesting, I don't think this is the first time, but it's one of the first times. Um, Google's revenues and profits were both higher than Microsoft's hmm. uh, this quarter. And so there's kind of an interesting dynamic going on there. Obviously, Google has been growing and growing at a very fast clip. Uh, Microsoft under Satya Nadella has seen great growth as well, but mm -hmm. they're a much more mature company. So uh you know, we used to be really burned about Apple. I mean, you know, we have other companies we need to start worrying about on the Microsoft side of the fence, you know, like Amazon and um, and obviously Google as well. Yeah, um, which is somewhat interesting, too, because Microsoft had a blockbuster quarter for them, $29 billion. And if Google's besting that, yeah. obviously. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, I always, uh, you know, I always look at the Microsoft stuff and I kind of wonder where it's coming from, you know. And uh, <laughs> well, they, I, well, we hold on, Paul. You're telling me they don't do a good job of breaking out their services and, and making it no, easy to identify not. things. You tell well, me. I, you know, I, I mean, they they break out uh, revenues by division, and that's about the end of that. Um, after that, we get percentage growth over whatever. We don't know where to, the starting point is, so we can never really do good comparisons. We never get profits. You know, um, you can talk about how Surface is a something billion dollar business or whatever, but has it ever made a cent? Yeah, we um, don't Xbox, I don't believe, has ever made a cent. Um, and it's also interesting, and this is true of Intel as well, that Microsoft's uh, biggest business is the uh, more personal computing business, which mm -hmm. is the part of the business that makes Windows 10 and Xbox those things that no one would think would be the biggest part of Microsoft these days. Um, on the Intel side, what I'm talking about are, are P chips for PCs, you know, and um, you know, here, here they, these products are, they're, they're, they're the kings of a dying business, and uh, they're still generating more in revenues than the rest of the company. Not combined, but than yep. any other part of the company. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money flowing yeah. around. 
It's interesting. I was going to say you're interesting, but I think we've had enough compliments for this episode <laughs> to serve us yep. as a life, serve a lifetime, something like that. Uh, the other interesting thing that kind of popped up today that you, where's my mouse? Why is it up there? <laughs> yeah, it's Brian. We're always a professional show here where we actually know what's going on. Uh, Android more secure than iOS and Windows. Yeah, I kind of sat on this one for a few days. Mm-hmm. I wanted to watch the video again, which I did. Um, I recommend watching it. It, it, it it's a Gartner uh, research paper that they made a video with Google uh, highlighting how secure Android is. And uh, that should raise questions <laughs> with anyone who's listening to this. You know, um, It is aimed at the enterprise, of course. And they, lo- they also look at Android bolstered by things like Samsung Knox or uh, Android on Pixel devices, just like you know, uh, mm-hmm. 10 on Surface devices could be more secure uh, for various reasons. But however you measure it, whether it's pure Android, uh, these other kinds of Android, um, the way Gartner's you know criteria is a, a lot of it, but not all of it, by the way, but a lot of it is obviously enterprise focused. Even if you leave out the enterprise stuff, just the base OS features, um, using their criteria. And I made my own little scoring system for it. So there's all kinds of ways you could dig into this and find problems. I'm not suggesting that any of this is a fact, but Mm -hmm. Android is the most secure, followed Hmm. by Windows 10, and then by a wide margin beyond that to to iOS. Now, if you would ask me a day before I saw this, of these three platforms, which do you think is the most secure, I probably would have reversed that, right? Hmm. And I would have uh, said that iOS was more secure than Windows, not because... Well, actually, maybe it is an inherent uh, superiority. It just It's a simpler system. It's a lockdown system. It is by nature completely sandboxed. You know, Windows does have the ability to run any apps you want and all that kind of stuff. So this, you, know, can, you can introduce problems in ways there that you can't on iOS. That would be my only rationale for that. Yeah. But then Android would be dead last, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, I don't know. I'm still struggling with this. So I eventually I thought, I have to get this out. It's been a couple of days. Someone else is going to write about this. But... Um, yeah, there it is. So I don't know if you looked at it at all. I don't know if you have any. No, I saw the headline and I figured I could just ask you on here rather than, you know, yeah. spend the time reading something you wrote. I'll look what see. We'll see what people comment uh, on this one. Um, I almost wrote something like, because I do feel someone's going to point out something mm-hmm. glaringly obvious and I'll be like, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's only Android running in a sandbox environment on a Windows 10 computer. <laughs> right, not connected to the internet. Right, perfectly safe. It, very realistic scenarios. Very realistic scenarios. And then last kind of thing here. Well, not last. That's a bold lie. But to, how's that S nine working out for you? I, I gotta say, I, I love it. And um, someone said to me, uh, I think via email, you know, they said, "Why don't you just put the Project Fi sim in the Samsung and just use that?" You know, and there are some downsides to doing that. Uh, uh, technically, it should be possible, right? You're not going to get the network shaping, uh, switching capabilities, and so forth. And so, yeah, I was like, yeah, you know, I think I will do that. I, I it's a good idea, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I uh, looked, at, I literally picked up the phones, and I was like, oh, right, I'm using Project Fi on an eSIM on the, on oh. the Pixel, so I don't have a way to take an activated SIM out of it and put it in the Samsung. So. I did order a Project Fi SIM from Google. It's free to do that. And whenever that arrives, I'll see if I can, I'll see how it wigs out of me when I try to put that in there and I'll give it a shot. Meaning I'll try to put it in the Pixel first. Mm-hmm. See if I can activate it that way and then get it back, you know, put it in the Samsung and see if it works. Because, um, you know, this, you know, you, know, you have an iPhone uh, XS. It's, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's an excellent device. It's just beautiful yeah. to look at and it's obviously super high quality. Um, I feel like the Samsung is very similar, and it's uh, you know side by side with the Pixels, it's of demonstrably higher quality. It's immediately obvious, you know. And um, I got this little. I think I don't know if I showed it to you yesterday, but I, I put it in this case, which I really like. It's kind of a fabricy kind of thing. It mm-hmm. looks plastic, but it's not. It's fabricy. Um, and then I think I showed you the color was terrible, yeah. but it's mostly hidden now. So <laughs> I wish I had gotten a different color, but um, you know, we'll see. I I could picture using this for the next year, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, maybe taking the Pixel on trips or something. But, mm-hmm. uh, or just take know, the I'll, Samsung I'll, on trips and make life easy. 
I, I don't like to do things that way. I, I, you of all people should appreciate um, <laughs> the desire to not do spoke. anything easily. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yep. um, uh, actually, the other thing, too, that's worth pointing out is uh, PUBG got a major update. They finally rolled it out to everybody. I think mm-hmm. we're getting, at least on the X now, uh, maybe ballpark in 30 frames per second. It feels like a new game. It's uh, Really? Yeah. Is that true? I, I don't know. All right. Well, I'll have to take a look. It's uh, it's remarkably better uh, frame okay. rate. So, hmm. all right. Yeah, yeah. How's that? Have you tried since? Well, I guess yesterday the Black Ops. No, you know I, mode. The blackout. No. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're going to ask? Yeah. Um, no, I thought I was going to proceed yesterday, so I'm like, I'm going to go through this. <laughs> so you got to remember, everything's different. Right, and by mm-hmm. different, I mean different from the last game. There, there are similarities between all the Call of Duty games, and then of course, when you go from Black Ops to Black Ops, there are more similarities there. But I haven't played a Black Ops game in a couple of years, and so you have to kind of get back into the gist of the system they have. You know, so the way Black Ops does things is you have a certain number of points you can allot to the the loadouts you have. So there's a gun, a secondary gun. There's attachments for the guns, there's perks, and you can. If you want to have no attachments and lots of perks, you can do that. You can, you know, you can kind of mix it up. So I've been kind of playing around with this stuff. And I, I talked about cheap kills. I don't have any good ways to do cheap kills. Although, mm-hmm. as it turns out, there are some classes that have some cheap kill-like capabilities. So I've been just kind of playing around with it. So anyway, the point of all this is no. <laughs> but um, the <laughs> every device in front of me just vibrated in some way. Uh, yep, there goes the other one. And so, <laughs> and it's important too because a new album is available on Google Photos. Anywho, um, I thought level fifty was going to be the uh, pr- the prestige point, and so I was like, I'll just I'll prestige and then I'll play around with other stuff. And then I hit fifty and nothing happened. And I looked at it again; and it's like fifty five. Hmm. So I don't know, maybe today. And then. Uh... I'm actually going to be curious. Have <coughs> you got any update on when you get your iPhone? No, I don't get it anytime soon because, you know, if you uh, pre-ordered it like right away, you would get it today, right? Yeah. I think today's the day it launched. Mm-hmm. Um, the last time I checked, it was like early November, which could be a week from today, but it could also be the following oh, Monday or Tuesday, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I didn't, I didn't really think to – I. I don't know if I, if I ever explained this, but when you went to do the uh, – to look at the pricing before you could pre-order it, they only had the carrier deals. They didn't have the unlock version uh, like they did with the uh, 10s and the 10s Max. And so I sort of thought, well, th- they used to do this this way. Maybe I have to wait until later uh, to do that. So this says arrives November 2 to November 6. November 2 is next Friday. November 6 is next Tuesday. So, hmm. uh, yeah, it's going to be a little while. Um, it's not too bad, though. Yeah, it's all right. I- I've got plenty of stuff to screw around with anyway, but... Um, Anyway, the, uh, I, if I didn't mention this before, and it's too late to help anyone now, but I'll just mention this. Um, as it turns out, if you order the, the T-Mobile version, it is unlocked, and it works with all of the carriers. So that's actually the unlocked one. So you can, like if you go to Apple.com and say, I'm going to buy a new iPhone XR, and I'm, I want an AT&T phone or a Verizon mm-hmm. phone, you actually have to go through their system with your phone number and register it, and if you don't have an account, you have to create a new account. Like you can't just get the phone. But if you do it with T-Mobile, and I think with Sprint, but I, I didn't do that, obviously, um, you don't have to do any of that. So the T-Mobile one is just, it supports everything. Gotcha. So I didn't find that out until it was too late. Like if I'd known that earlier, I would have ordered this thing on you know day one, but um, I didn't. So I got to wait. And then uh, one question from the chat room. Actually, it's probably one of those devices you haven't touched yet. Uh, yeah. Any update on the X1 <clears throat> Extreme? Yeah, I was just um, the the uh, Carbon X one. Yeah, mm. um, yes, uh, I just did some performance benchmarks on that uh, last night, actually, and I got a. You know, it's funny. I got a couple of. I don't really game on the PC, and I'm, I want to see if I can use these on the Xbox. But randomly, I just got some gaming headsets from two different companies, mm. and I was thinking. I think I'm going to, I actually meant to ask you about this, like, I think I'm going to do some game bench, like, well, it's not really benchmarking. I think I'm going to try to play some games on this computer just to kind of see where it falls from, like, a frame per second standpoint. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, like, PUBG, and then i got to find something where you can actually see that information on the screen. Uh, if you're um, doing it, well, if you're doing it on the PC, you can do it with any game. 
Okay. So, I don't like I said, I don't play games on the PC, but uh, off the top of my head, I want to say it is just south of Surface Book 2 levels of performance. Hmm. Um, Which yeah. headsets did you get, actually? I'm curious. So, I got an HP Envy something something. Mm-hmm. And I can't see the other one. I'm sorry. I think the other one is a. Are they PC? They're PC gaming headsets. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Well, you're dead to me. If they were Xbox ones, I was going <clears> well, to mail them to me. But they must just attach. Well, I don't know if they're USB. Then we're screwed. Oh, yeah, yeah, Turtle Beach. <coughs> Turtle Beach uh, Elite Atlas. Turtle Beach Elite Atlas. Oh, hold on. That's what these are. I actually like Turtle Beach stuff. Yeah, but it's probably these days. They haven't like again. I haven't gamed on the PC in a while, yeah. so. They're probably USB based, I would imagine, at this point, which is not going to help if you want to use it with a an Xbox One. But Potentially, yeah, yeah. That's what but yeah, like. I mean, I noticed like in um, you know Black Ops, um, mm-hmm. well, like any shooter, really. I mean, being able to hear where people are coming from mm-hmm. big uh, deal. is a big deal. Yeah, and despite the fact that I have some pretty decent speakers here in front of the computer, there. are or in front of the screen, they're they're kind of close, you know, they're like out here, yeah. so I don't really get the separation I need sometimes. Um, and what I found, I mean, almost universally, is just going off of hearing. Mm-hmm. I'll turn and run around a corner, and it's never, it's just never helped me at all. So I was thinking, like, like headphones would actually make a big difference. Oh no, they definitely will. I mean, that's what I game with on the Xbox for that exact reason. Yeah. So. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yep. Probably why my KD is so low because I'm like a jerk not using headphones. That or because I'm like 50 years old. <laughs> the rest of these people are college students. College students might even be generous at some levels. High school students are. <laughs> this is even... students. We'll just say students. <laughs> students. Yep. Yep. You got anything else for today, Paul? No. I don't know. I was hoping to take a nap this afternoon. My wife reminded me we've got people coming to the house now. So that's, you know. Awesome. How about you? Maybe I'll take a nap because <clears throat> I know you can't. I'm just. <clears throat> yes. How's your non sick life going? Is it good? <laughs> Gonna knock knock on some wood here. Hopefully that streak of um, non sickness will continue. But as we enter the the cold and chilly months, oh, I gotta go get a flu shot. I still gotta do that. My daughter's yep. freaking out about it because my wife just casually mentions like, yeah, we gotta go get your flu shot, and she just like broke down mentally, like you just kicked a dog or something. And, um, my son, um, when he was a little kid, needed to be. My wife brought my brother because I was out of town to get mm-hmm. him to get a shot, and they had to bring in a third person aside from the nurse who was giving him the shot to restrain him. Like my wife and my brother were not enough. <laughs> like a wild caged animal, you know. Yeah, I, my daughter squirmed quite a bit last time. I had to hold her. They just did it in, like yeah. the thigh, and uh, nothing sure. makes you feel better like restraining your child as they're about to get poked. But whatever. It's like when I, g- I gave blood recently, and uh, I noticed the woman was just talking to me as she was draining my body of its vital fluids. <laughs> and finally, I said, "You're just distracting me, aren't you?" And she goes, "Yeah, I have to do that." <laughs> I was like, "I don't care." That yeah, worked. I mean, I'm some it doesn't things. really bother me too much, but I know yeah. some people get very freaked out about mm-hmm. it. So, yeah, she was a, a little too interested in my story, you know. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, so, all right, folks, so that wraps it up for today. We'll be back next week. I don't think we have any travel next week. Hopefully not. It's Halloween here in the United States on Tuesday. So got that looking forward to all sorts of candy and treats and uh, have yourselves a wonderful weekend and we'll catch you right back here next time.